One of the problems that I have with the M54 engine is the reading of the intake air temperature sensor. It is all the time deviated. It is all the time very, very high compared with the ambient temperature sensor. Uh, in this case, for instance, I have three degrees in the ambient temperature sensor and more than 40 in the intake air temperature sensor. So tonight I'm going to relocate that sensor. I'm going to take it out from the original position between the cylinders uh, three and four in the intake and I will relocate them close to the uh, mass airflow sensor. I think it will be, uh, it makes more sense to, to have the reading of the amount of air and the temperature of the air in more or less the same place, not like it is right now. I hope it will be helpful to the performance of the engine, especially to, to, to prevent the stalling at very low RPM. Let's go for that. The housing for the cabin filter is out and the beauty cover as well. And here is the connector for the uh, air intake sensor. The sensor is down there between cylinders uh, three and four. And uh, here I have an, an extension of a one meter extension for the sensor with exactly the same connections. So I will give it a go putting the sensor somewhere outside here just close to the uh, MAF sensor and I will start the car just to see how it uh, how it works okay so with the extension I just show you I have here uh, the sensor somewhere outside the car just to see how it reacts how the car reacts when I start it So, good thing, no check engine light so far. Let's see what the torque says about the um, temperature. Now this is normal. Excellent, so we have the same three degrees because the sensor is completely cold but now the sensor is showing what uh, is expected to be the real temperature around so i will continue with the mod i have decided that the best place for the sensor to be is right beside the muff so here i have a 12.5 millimeter drill as the sensor has 12.7 so it will it should be tight especially considering the o-ring and uh, yeah it's a discreet place it's like uh, you will not get stupid questions from the guys of the technical inspection in your country after, um, after some struggle the sensor will be located here I had to put some isolating tape there just to make it tight because I don't want it the sensor to be wobbling and it's now it's, it's tight and tight enough uh, it's not moving around it just has some um, normal spinning but it's tight uh, it's not moving and this is the way it will look and here we have the uh, intake air temperature sensor right beside the mass airflow sensor behind the air filter the extension this extension that i show you is uh, rotated in the back of the engine so the whole look is quite oem and i was i wouldn't doubt about it and the previous sensor is still in still there I just taped it and then blocked it, and but I didn't remove it. I'm using a new one, and if you want to test this mod, you can do it, and then you can go back to the original configuration. But I don't think that this is a good option. I think that the the best way to keep it is with two sensors right beside each other. In fact, uh, in later versions, uh, BMW had recognized this um, 
mistake and they have the intake air temperature sensor integrated in the MAF. Uh, so there are, this is uh, the old version with three pins, uh, the three pin connector. I mean, yeah, I can show you. Yeah. And uh, in later versions of the M54, this was replaced by a C, by the five pin uh, MAF sensor, which integrates the temperature sensor. That could make complete sense. I, I don't know really what the guys were thinking when they put the sensor here, taking all the heat from the engine and uh, giving a completely distorted reading. So now we'll go for a test drive to see how the engine be behaves, how the um, car reacts, if I get any uh, chic engine lights or something. Um, but I hope that this uh, little modification will help the engines, will prevent the stalling at very low RPM, and also could um, improve a little bit the performance in, in summer. Because as I said in the beginning, with the sensor located here, in summer pff, you can get uh, 60 or even more degrees of difference between the uh, ambient air temperature sensor and the intake air temperature sensor. So let's go for that drive now and uh, I, I will tell you how the, how, how the car feels. So I just made the, a, a drive test uh, with the vehicle. I, uh, I have right now in the ambient temperature sensor uh, 1.5 degrees and in the intake air temperature is 17. I think uh, it is uh, quite acceptable, has nothing to do with the previous uh, readings with the 30 40 or 60 degrees of difference and uh, I will leave the mod on I don't have any check engine light here so um, the, the car behaves okay I don't feel any uh, rough idle or, or anything right now you can see it's uh, steady at uh, 700 uh, uh, rpm and uh, yeah, I want to invite you to try this modification uh, if you feel uh, that this difference is uh, not the right thing. I, th I think that this was a design uh, a flow um, as commented, BMW corrected it uh, in later versions of this uh, engine. So uh, try it, uh, the modification is not invasive or not that much except in that uh, a small drill that you have to do in the the airbox but it's uh, completely reversible if you do it with the with this extension that i have used so uh, thank you very much for for watching and uh, um, see you next time with more car related content cheers